everyone, welcome back to another Thrifty Craft Thursday where I'm sharing with you some fun crafts that take just a few items and probably some items that are already around the house. Because this weekend is the 4th of July weekend, I thought it might be fun to make some decorations. So we're making this fun 4th of July hanger um, that takes just a few items, uh, including a, a paper towel tube cut in half or a toilet paper tube, whatever. Um, streamers if you have them or you can use yarn, whatever is around the house. But I thought these are just so fun for us to hang up and enjoy this weekend. Let's get started. So before we get started, we wanna make sure we have everything we're gonna need to make our awesome 4th of July decoration. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you have blue paper, some streamers or yarn, toilet paper tubes, or you can have a paper towel tube and cut it in half, scissors, a hole puncher, yarn to hang it up, and a Sharpie. Let's get started. All right, so you're gonna take your toilet paper tube and put it onto your blue paper. You're just gonna wanna make sure it's lined up with the edge. And then you're gonna fold it up to just make a little crease so you know where to cut it. Then once you have that spot, you can just fold it down and make sure it's straight. And then you can either tear it or cut it. Now you want to go ahead and just take your black sharpie or black marker, whatever works, and just start drawing a bunch of stars all over the place. Some of them won't show, obviously, because you're going to roll up your toilet paper tube, but it's best to just make sure that it is all covered with stars. So once your stars are all drawn on, you wanna flip over your sheet of paper and go ahead and grab your tube and some tape and you're going to roll it on up. Once it's all rolled up, you just want to get a piece of your tape and tape it lengthwise onto the paper. I did a couple of strips, one at the top and one at the bottom. Next, you want to get your streamers and a pair of scissors, or you can use yarn or anything else that you might have around the house, whatever will work. And so all you're going to do is make long pieces of this and cut them so that way they can hang down from the hanger. And so as you can see here, I have three pieces of the red and three pieces of the white. And 
And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to tape the streamers inside of the toilet paper tube. I'm just folding it in half on the top and then getting a piece of tape to put right there to fit perfectly. And you're going to alternate colors. So you're gonna do white, red, white, red, white, red. There's our last one and they're all taped in there securely, ready to flow in the wind if you hang it out outside. Next you want to get your hole punch and you're going to punch two holes um, on opposite sides of one another. And then you're gonna get your yarn. I got red, white, and blue. You can do just one color if you want, um, or you can do all three. But basically what I'm doing here is I'm measuring out a long piece of yarn and cutting it. And then you're just gonna stick the yarn through the holes that you punched earlier. I found that it was easier to do it one at a time and it might just be easier to do one color of string rather than three, but I thought it looked nice and so wanted to do it this way. Once you have your yarn through, you're gonna have to tie a couple of knots to make sure that um, the yarn doesn't come out of the hanger. I think I wound up doing three knots and you want to make sure that they're right on top of each other or else you just have three little knots in a row. And you are all done. It's ready to be hung up either in your house or outside somewhere ready to celebrate the 4th of July. I hope you had so much fun and I can't wait to see you next week as we make sun catchers. <music>